So part four is centered on the bed itself. Uh, and I got my sheets pulled back and all that type of stuff so we can see. Now what I have here is I have a mattress topper on top of my mattress. This ain't got this mattress topper itself. That's more for the anesthetics in case you, you know, we're, we're all adults in case you shit yourself or, or piss yourself while you're in the bed, which happens, you know, sometimes you just, you have, you have an accident. So, this mattress topper ain't going to stop the bed bugs. And like I say, you have to train yourself to look, you have to look for these things, which obviously, luckily, my bed is free of bed bugs. They never did quite take hold to my bed. I, I rapidly moved to uh, to to can fix the problem, and this is just lint particles uh, from crap getting stuck from some sheets, purple sheets that I have. But it can be confusing, and you might end up having bad bugs. So you might think you have a ton of bad bugs or from a distance, but it's just lint. Now this is the most important part of your defense against these creatures is this mattress cover. You want to get you one that's pretty good. So if you do have uh, a mattress that's covered in them, if they manage to get inside of the mattress, which I have memory foam, really no way for them to get inside and I'm not going to take this mattress cover off, which I actually inspected the entire mattress. So the mattress itself was bad bug free when I put this cover on. But you want to get you one that the bed bugs can't bite through and, and uh, bite through to through this mattress cover to get you and it'll trap them in to kill them over a period of time and you know it takes up to like a year you know they can go a long time without feeding so we push the mattress up ah, using my freaking he-man strength to lift this foam mattress up but as you can see, I have bed slats. And as you notice, that plug back there, a standard procedure for, for what I've done is I've taped up the plugs. Because uh, uh, the plugs and this, the outlets in this this building, it's, like I said, it's old. They kind of jut out of the wall. It makes a very great place for bed bugs to hide. And in my case, I actually saw one come out of there. Not that one, but I saw one come out of an outlet closer towards the kitchen. So, uh, as you can notice, I have DE in the crevices of the slats. And I actually took these slats up to look under them. No bed bugs. As you can see, there's no feces, no blood. They never never quite got a chance to take hold once I initiated pro Operation Valkyrie. So, you, you can see my whole mattress is covered with the mattress cover. And I wash my sheets. The sheets themselves get washed every week. And my pillowcase is probably every three days or so. I want to wash my color, light color clothes. Uh, you know, I don't have my own washing machine. So I have to use a coin operator, which that's another part of your clothes. Uh, you have to, you see my old class A's in here. Um... You have to control, like on these rails, there's double-sided tape. So you have to control that. You don't want the bed bugs to be able to climb on the railing onto your clothes. And then you end up tracking your clothes all over the place. These hangers. Uh, but, like I said, you have to go through everything. I went through all my shoes. I even washed all my shoes. To make sure now and this cost me plenty when it came to uh using the washing machines here so the landlord is going to give me a hundred and fifty dollar credit for next month which i'm grateful on that she didn't exactly say that was the reason but uh since i mentioned the bad bugs to her you know she she brings up a hundred and fifty dollar credit so maybe there's a connection maybe there's not but it'll help me recoup the cost and uh, the pesticide people actually, uh, they checked up here and they didn't find anything. So they never, they didn't go up there, which is grateful. And I, I've never liked the place with this type of false ceiling. 
So uh, we're going to leave the closet. And we're going to go back to the bed. Now, if you notice, my legs, all of the legs sit on a like, top of uh, um, cardboard that I put tape on. So, like I said, bed bugs don't have sticky pads. They use claws. So in order to get to the bed, they would need to claw, crawl up. And this tape will prevent them from doing that. So even if I had a few bugs that were were captured on the tape, but they weren't bad bugs. There's mainly centipedes and um, spider. They were walking around, man, as you get. It's like the bed bugs didn't even try, hadn't even attempted or hadn't got the chance to migrate to my room. Because every one that I captured was uh, flat and hadn't fed. They had to, I don't know, they were hungry, I guess you could say. But you have to do all of your bed like that, including the, the the support panel beams under here. They all have tape on them, double-sided tape. And nothing can touch the bed. Your sheets, your your blank blankets, they cannot touch the, uh, the ground, you know. It would defeat the purpose of having the tape on the floor. And uh, you, once you've created a, 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 a safe spot, which my bed is my is a safe spot for me and a few other places are safe spots. You can put things on there and, and not have fear that the bed bugs will crawl. But like I said, I haven't seen them in weeks. Like literally weeks. It's been a while since I've seen them. Even the pesticide person couldn't find them. Said they were ghosts. They might have fled to a different room or might have been killed. You know, I'd found a couple, a dozen or so dead the last time I had vacuumed. And so once I put that DE down, that I think that pretty much did it. Now the woman upstairs is supposed to go to another treatment because her room was apparently on under heavy infestation. So I believe once she gets her uh, second treatment, because it's a treatment which I'll have to go through another treatment, even though I haven't seen any in my room, but I did find one in the hallway. Uh, you know. Uh, coming up to my room so they are out there and they are trying to penetrate my defenses get back into my room not this room but my at least my kitchen that seems to be the easiest way for them to get in which I'm actually going to caulk that I've already talked to the landlord I'm going to see if they I told them I would caulk the thing in my, my kitchen I want to do it myself because I don't trust the I don't believe they can do the work up to the standards of caulking that I can do. <laughs> I can do. Anybody can caulk, but this is not their room that they're staying in. They actually do stay in the building. They stay on the fifth, fifth and sixth floor. And so, uh, if their room was under infestation or trying, an infestation was trying to take hold, they would do any, everything that they could to uh, uh, to try to get rid of it, which is what I did. And I think it worked largely successful. I mean, you got to look at all these baseboards. Even in my room, I vacuumed all that. Sprayed some stuff in there. I ain't saying that that hot shot works. Uh, like it's the best stuff in the world. But it seemed to work for me. Maybe these bugs aren't so resistant to the hot shot in this area. I mean, you'll have a few in the group that'll be mutants. But I just wanted to let you guys know about my experience. And actually, I'm going to show you guys one. Uh, where is he was the last specimen that I found and actually he was found in the hallway so hadn't found him hadn't seen any in my room but this little guy was out there in the hallway crawling around uh, randomly one that might be one of the scattered ones he is an adult so I can't I don't know, the, don't know how to tell the difference between males and females. I think males have a much more pointier abdomen. I'm not sure. And apparently, male bell bugs are un unable to tell the difference between themselves. They try to mount and mate with other males until, you know, uh, the male other male releases a chemical telling them not to. So they have they have trouble themselves. But I just want to let you guys know my bad bug experience and my process of trying to stay on top of it and fight fight them and it seems to have driven them away that's all i can say i killed a lot of them in the process and they're gone 
how, for how long, I don't know. It's like the Mongolian horde over here. You know, maybe another another wave might try to penetrate the wall. Who knows? But feel free to comment. Like always, comment on any of the parts.